What's up, collective? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose these karmic ass clowns. What's up, divine collective? What's up, divine family? Divine feminine, divine masculine. What it do, what it do, what it do. You feel like you're under the spell attack of your enemy, a karmic energy, family member, ex-spouse, ex-wife, um, ex-wife, ex-spouse, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-baby mama. They could be doing black magic to you and black magic can be defined as the belief of supernatural practices used to harm, kill, or cause misfortune to others. Okay, so you may have somebody in your life that's trying to cause misfortune, misfortune energetically, okay? So, I'm going to just pull out, I just made these cards, I didn't make them, but they're, it's a new deck, and, and um, they're actually kids playing cards, the trolls, so I'm going to do a reading with these cards, okay? Okay. Um, Divine Fam, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy, so only take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it, just relax and let it go. And if you're interested in purchasing a spiritual healing package for $33.33, you can inbox me. Um, if you're interested in purchasing a spiritual bath, you can inbox me. And if you're interested in purchasing one of my cute little motivational candles, they just motivational, and I will be having chakra candles for sale. Okay, this one um, is the real life heal, the real life healer. It says healer, but I mean real life hero. But I heard he healer. So some of you may be a real life healer, but this is a your hero. So these are five dollars if you want to purchase them. I don't know why I started doing this. My dog died a couple of days ago and I just was in here doing something um, to keep myself busy while she, after she had the stroke, you know, I started making these. This is, this is a candle for your best friend. Um, it's speaking about best friends and, you know, um, some of you, you may, you know, want to give your friend a gift, okay? So, these are $5, I'm gonna show you all of them. This one, this candle represents abundance, money, spending money, shopping. See them bags, taking trips and shit. So if you want to manifest shopping and money into your life, you order this candle and burn it and you put a put a, um, a piece of paper where you write up under it um, what you, you know, plan to do. You can use these. These are the spiritual candles, but I just decorate them. So you still can use them to um, bring in positive energy into your home. This blue one can be used for your third eye chakra. And this light blue one, One could be for your third eye, and the other one could be for your throat chakra, okay? They are, I'm starting with the original plot of my, I don't even know how to say it. I just planned on selling chakra candles, decorated chakra candles, but Spirit led me to do these, so... Um, this is the happiness candle. Okay, if you want to create joy and happiness in your life, um, self-love, this is, this is bringing money, happiness, to go shopping again, um, throwing, taking out the trash, okay, can't see the trash, but see, it's like this person threw this trash out, and now she's shopping. She could have been with somebody who was, um, had her not wanting to, to, um, spend her money. If you work hard, if you work hard, 
you you get your check, you spend your shit the way you want to. You pay all your bills and shit first, but still put yourself first before you. Is is there? There's a gap right there. I gotta write that down. There's a gap right there between you working and you spending your money because you got somebody right there in between telling you how to spend your money. So I got to write this down so I don't forget it. If there's a gap. A gap between you and your money. We gonna, I'm going to do a reading. We're going to find out what that gap is. Okay? Divine Feminine. So if you want to support your girl, you know, I even have, I have a, a wedding candle. You can burn this candle to call in love in your life. It's a pink candle, and pink represents reconciliation, weddings, you know, um, baby sh babies, but it is the reconciliation candle, and it, it says love, devotion, ivy wood. So if you want to get married, you would burn. You would get this candle, and you would get a piece of paper. You can get parchment paper, and write up under it you desire to be married, and when you what it, what it is that you desire in a husband or in a wife, you write it up under that. And set this candle on top of it. What what you want in a wife, what you you know, not what you don't want. You want to put what you do want. And some of you, you just need to pamper yourself. See, I put this telephone booth on there because spirit is telling you to call. Anytime you need, anytime, you need to to, to take that spiritual bath, take a day off, go get a pedicure. Makeup, girls' night, nail polish, dressed up and feeling pretty. Call spirit. Always call them before you go somewhere. Always call them when you wake up in the morning, okay? And I put this here. This is the, the, the call to pamper. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but this is what spirit led me to say. So these candles, they, they are spiritual because they each have a message, okay? And, um... I'm going to be having all the colors of the chakras and all of them for $5 with a special message on them, okay? So just letting you know if you're interested in purchasing one, let me know. And we go from there. And if you want to purchase a... Uh, <coughs> And if you want a particular color, if you want um, a specific topic on your candle, I will uh, custom make candles for you if you you know if you want. So help your girl out and get in my inbox and purchase a motivation chakra candles you can call it whatever you want they they're different okay some of them are for your chakras and some of them are just for motivation some of them are to call in the things that you want in your life um let they seven day candles so okay so off to your reading what is the energy surrounding my divine Oh, damn. Okay, spirit. Success for a creative underbird. You're full of creative ideas right now. Some of you is redecorating your homes, doing some new stuff, new carpet. I just did a reading the other day. It's some new shit going on. Somebody is intimidated. 
about your happy life. Here's a wedding or some sort of um, ending or beginning, a transformation. Somebody may have passed away. Um, for others of you, you're having a happy life, happiness and prosperity and going through a transformation. And for some of you, Spirit is saying you need to voice your concerns and try to work them out with the person you're thinking about. You may, um, an argument is out here, you're discontent. The Spirit is saying to enjoy today and stop worrying about tomorrow. Some of you, somebody out there worries a little bit too much. Well, what about, what about if, what if this, what if that, all of them, what is, stop that. Stop the, every time this happens, don't you know you are, you are, um, you're manifesting negative shit into your life. I'm, I'm working on myself telling, you know, when I'm speaking, saying, damn, every time I go to the store, it's always a long ass line. Stop saying that. That long ass line is there because the the energy knows that you come. Have you ever been in been in a place where you go somewhere and ain't nobody in there, and then the next thing you know, when you get to the counter, you turn around the motherfucking store is full. No matter where. If you experience that, put it in the comments. I love to read them. Okay, but well, somebody is 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 you know going through a transformation. Happy prosperity, and again, you're having a worldly advantage. Anything that's causing pain towards you is being reversed. You're about to have good fortune, creative. If somebody is intimidated by that. They get discontent because you voiced your concerns and tried to work them out. But see, um, maybe you didn't say anything, or you, you voiced your you know concerns, but this person didn't hear you. Some of you, this could be somebody you, you're married to. Somebody who you are, um, you're in love with. But they intimidated that you having some sort of success in a, something business you're doing, a creative idea you have. Um, you may be redecorating your house and, 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 and it's looking beautiful. And you have somebody out there intimidated by the things that you can do. They didn't know that you can accomplish certain things. Black magic. This, uh, okay, this little sticker fell off. And it's talking about uh, black magic can be defined as the belief of supernatural practices used to harm, kill, or cause misfortune to others. So you done skipped over this shit, Okay. And um, this person is intimidated. And at the same time, they intimidated, but it makes them horny. Mm. This person, you may they may be trying to text you and you're not answering, or you may be trying to text them and they not answering. Um, they possibly could be trying to give you an ultimatum. acting immature they're discontent with what you're doing they intimidated and this is somebody you done ended some shit with you're, you're full of creative ideas and they are mad acting immature acting like an adolescent because you having a world advantage and an excellent day is coming so don't you worry, collective, okay? Because anything that's causing pain to you is being reversed. And you know, you've been enlightened. It's been exposed, okay? Somebody is upset because you, all these cards is good, okay? Great fortune, joy and satisfaction. Excellent day is coming. Enjoy today and stop. Don't have nobody in your life that's in your life telling you, but what about if this happens? That's that, them. you don't want them what if peoples. You don't want them every time this peoples. You don't want them people that's always so-and-so. 
We don't want that. Now, if, if, if they speak in every time and always, then you can be around them long as they're saying, every time I see you, you looking better and better. Every time I see you, you got more money. Every time I see you, you got something new. Every time. Not every time I see you, you argue. Every time we go to the store, it's a long line. Every time I put so-and-so on my car, this happens. No, you speak. I always got money. I always go shopping when I want to. I always help others. That's why I get blessed. Because I'm always helping people. Every time I help somebody, I get blessed. That's what you do. Instead of saying, every time I go to the store. Every time I go to the store, I get, even though I'm standing in this long ass line, something good comes out of me standing in this long ass line. You either standing in that line for a reason. It can be signs and synchronicities and symbols all around you and you ain't even looking. You be standing in a, um, I'll just say a wing stop. And you know, wing stop, if you have it in your city or state, is a chicken place, okay? And they, well, here in, in the wing stop in my city, it shows a lot of uh, old stuff, old airplanes and things, like the wings of the plane. So you could be in wing stop and you could be looking around at the pictures on the wall and spirit could be telling you to fly, baby. Spirit can be telling you things is going well. You need to fly. Spread your wings. Okay? Those are little key messages that you are not paying attention to. Symbols and stuff. Start paying attention, baby. Okay? Apparently you had because you got success. And the excellent day is coming. Okay? Tell me more spirit. Good luck. Mm-hmm. And this person is thinking, because you're getting all of this good luck. Mm-hmm. Or they know you getting some good luck. Mm-hmm. And they're acting immature. The harder your energy is, this person is thinking about you. And I don't think it's no good thoughts. You ain't spending no time with them. They try to stop you from going down the correct pathway that, because they're not going down the pathway. They thinking of how they can get to your good luck by acting immature. Or this is what they're saying. Well, maybe if I act immature or act childish, maybe the collective will, you know, you know, um, stop this, this thing that's making me act a fool. See, they don't like it. And this is a lover of yours. They don't like the fact that you're being successful. See, this person wanted you to be sitting around sad and crying over them. And you found out they false. They could have been lying about the good luck they having, bragging, and they, that ain't really happening. So they could be trying to think of ways to start an argument, trying to trying to, uh, what is it called? Um, what's the word? Gaslight. Some of you, they may be trying to start an argument just so they can get away. Somebody, um, also for others of you, you're, um, you either going to a wedding or getting married. About to have a happy life, you done went through some sort of death with somebody else, and now you have been through a transformation. And maybe um, somebody out there, you're redecorating your home, you're preparing yourself for this new relationship or this new person that's coming into your life, or you're decorating your house to get rid of you. You're removing all of the the. Items that you shared with somebody else, you're cleaning all of that. You're cleaning out your closet. Okay? Getting rid of all this stuff. Somebody out there, you need to clean your closet out because you have an energy that um is is you've been with somebody so long, you still have all of their things in your house and they're gone, or you still have the, the items that they gave you 
those items are keeping you stuck, holding on to their memories and stuff, where you need to make some new memories. Okay. And there could be a Leo out here. And it's a lot of love out here. Whatever it is that you're doing, <coughs> my feminine, you love the shit. Okay. This is this is <coughs> for some of you. <coughs> for some of you, you love this creative endeavor. Endeavor. I don't. I can't never pronounce that word. Endeavor. Endeavor. Okay. This creative endeavor that you're on with whatever it is, you love it. You love to do it. You love it. And like I always say, um, I tell my people, my listeners, if if you're at a job and you love that job, you're going to get paid good because that means you're going to put in the extra work, the extra effort, extra hours, all of that shit. They ain't going to need that. If you have a person and you at a job that you hate, you only just going to get that paycheck. That's it. But if you love your job, I always also suggest get a job in the industry that you love doing. Don't 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 hate the paint and work at a paint factory. Don't hate hamburgers and work at McDonald's or a hamburger stand or a restaurant. Whatever it is that you love doing, that you love spending your time doing where you don't care about how long it takes, that's what you get in the industry of working. Okay, because off of that, you can build and start your own business. Whatever it is that you love to do, you go there. If you if you don't have a job, but you love to paint and you know you're good, start hanging out. Start hanging out at art galleries. If you want to work, if you want to, if you love construction, you want to do construction or you want to learn. If you don't have a job, if you don't have a contractor's license or you don't have a license, start hanging at them construction sites. First day there, just, you know, just grab you a cup of coffee or a donut or a sandwich and just go sit close. And if you act, it, um, I don't know who this is for. If you kind of act kind of a little mysterious, but you focus in on the site of a construction site, maybe the foreman, I don't know who this is for, but I'm hearing, the foreman will come to you and want to know what are you looking at. Or um, be dressed up. I'm telling you different ways of sneakily getting an interview and getting a job without having to go through all of the extra. I mean, you're still going extra distance if you want a job in construction or truck drivers or whatever. Hang around them places, around the people that do that. Because I used to, at one time, I wanted to drive big rigs, right? And I started working at Ralph's Warehouse. I was a security officer. And so I started, you know, letting everybody there know, I'm, shit, I'm going I'm to drive trucks. They make money, right? So what my coworkers, they started doing, my coworkers... They weren't a cult. They loved me. Okay. And they, um, when the big wigs would come through to pick up their deliveries and shit, they would call me out there to talk to the truckers. And when the women came, they would call me to, to get their truck. You know, come on. And I talked to the women and they were so encouraging, you know. So when you, if it's whatever it is, what industry that you want to work in or what field you want to work in, start hanging around that place. Different places, but that same industry, go to different ones and talk about your interests in it. And then if you have any skills in it, let them know. And if you don't have a license, but you have skills, they'll, somebody will help you get to the, the license in place. They'll tell you where to go take a test or whatever. Okay? The doors will open for you. Spirit will open the doors for you. Okay, collective? If it's something you really want to do because 
all of this success is out here, stop letting somebody sit in your ear and tell you, um, wor- have you worrying about tomorrow. No, spirit don't want you to worry. God is not the author of our author of fear. He does not give us the spirit of fear or confusion. Okay, so you have joy and satisfaction, good fortune, excellent day is coming, a world in bend, it says the nine of hearts. Okay, you also have success for creative endeavor. Redecorating your home, happy success in business or love. Full of creative ideas, says the Three of Hearts. Okay? And this is intimidating somebody, but at the same time, it's making them horny. Whatever it is that you're doing, that you're making, that you created, that you're birthing, is making somebody hard. It's turning them on. So keep on doing it. They thinking about you. They acting immature, but they want to dick you down. Okay, divine feminine. Mm-hmm. And when you when you when you voice your concerns to this person of your discontent with them, it's got them hard. <laughs> now. This, these, all of these hearts out here have been to me that they are, they are in love with what you're doing. Okay, you may have somebody, they may be discontent because you're doing it because you're not giving them all the time. You know, you're not wasting a lot of time on them, but they horny behind it. They like watching you. <laughs> oh, the five feminine. They like watching you, baby. Uh huh. They do. This person could be the, even feeling like you're an advantage to them. You're a world, worldly advantage to them. And when they see you, it's an excellent day coming when they see you. Okay, somebody could be actually feeling this way about you. And they see how how creative you are, and that's turning them on and getting them, they dick is hard. Ooh, they, they think it. But see, I wouldn't have sex with this person <laughs> because they so mad at you, they going to fuck the shit out of you. I wouldn't, I'm, and some of you, some of y'all is like, yeah, let them do it. But I'm telling you, you may want them to fuck you hard, but he going to put you in some pain. He going he gonna to try to discontent you. Because you're doing what you do. And you love it and he love it. It's a lot of love out here. It's all hearts. So it's a lot of love. Somebody's name may start with the letter A. You could have been with this person um, three years, four years, or nine years. I see the month of April. February. June. October. August. Something happened April 16th or April 18th. Somebody could have been born in 1962. This person is, 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 he... This person, they they want to have sex with you. That's my other cards. They they want to have sex with you so they can put you in pain, so you can't do what it is you do. But they love to see you work, and it's intimidating them because everybody else loves it, and they don't want nobody to see you doing it. So they want to fuck you real hard, or put it on you, so you can't 
get up and do what you're supposed to do. Oh, damn. Really, masculine? You really that jealous like that? They see all the good luck you having. Yep, and they're going to be false. And you, you done found out, or this, some of you, this done already happened. They fucked the shit out of you, didn't they? If they did, you ain't got to say they fucked the shit out of me, but uh, they tore your walls down or something. And for fellas, if, if it's a female energy, <laughs> she going to whip you till you tired. She didn't either suck your dick so good or bounce through your dick so hard to where you can't even get up no more. You scared to get up because she didn't. She done, she done whipped it on him. And that's because whatever it is that you're doing that's creating, it's turning them on, but they hate it. <laughs> this is some weird ass shit. And I'm saying, voice your concerns. Maybe they told you. <laughs> they told you they didn't, they didn't like your endeavor. Yeah, they didn't like it. And, and you're still doing it. And that turned them on. That you're standing up for yourself. <laughs> but they don't like it. This is some funny shit. Okay, so Spirit, show me how to, how this person wants to fuck the shit out of this divine feminine or this divine man. These are my erotic cards, so they show nasty images. Sexual. Okay, erotic fantasy cards. Okay, Holy Spirit, show me how this person wants to sexually get my collective. Show me the position, how they want to beat it up or whip it up. Show me what I need to see. Don't get scared now, collective divine feminine. Oh, they want you to sit on it backwards. <laughs> they want you to sit on them backwards, baby. Backwards. So divine feminine, if you know the you know the position of of um, of sitting backwards, you could be doing it in a chair, and he wants you to sit backwards at him, and you get up in there, or he lay in the bed, and you sit on it backwards. He wants you to stroke him. He wants you to jack him off. Or jack them up and then get up on top of. He wants you to show your body to him. Pose for him naked while he clean you up. Damn. And you standing there with the fucking cup. <laughs> the water for him to wash you up. Ooh, all all sexual and emotional for him. And some of you, this is a this is a fire sign. And it's money out here. See, oh shit, divine feminine. It's it's a lot of cups out here, and it's a lot of money. See, this is this is a good reading for somebody. Um, they, um, and divine feminine. Some of you, ooh, divine feminine. Somebody want to do it out in nature. Ooh. Somebody, ooh. <laughs> they, <clears throat> I got a lot of cigarette. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, my cigarette's right here. Look, this is making me hot, Divine Feminine. And I ain't sweating, but goddamn, this is kind of making me a little horny right here. Because um, it's like somebody... Divine Feminine, y'all nasty. In a good way. This is love. If you and your person are sexually compatible and you both love the erotic, the erotic, erotic, the eroticism, the erotic, I can't pronounce it, the happiness, making love and all of that, girl, do your do. Masculine, do your thing. I see a man... Oh, I see Divine Feminine. There's men out here kissing your feet. 
this is why your person is mad. <laughs> they kissing your they they want to kiss your feet, and because you're so fucking creative, um, even some of you, somebody just got some new carpet, and your carpet man. Now, oh. Oh, it ain't the carpet man. You just got some new carpet and your man. Now, it could be the carpet man. Your man could be the one who put the carpet down. And for somebody, when when you walked in your new, your brand new carpet, and if you got brand new carpet and this happened, put it in the comments. Or if you just, if, if it did happen similar to this, put it in the comments. For somebody, you had sex on your brand new carpet. And it started out because you had a little sneaky dress on with no panties walking around the house and basically you happy because you got your new carpet and um ooh divine feminine somebody said come on baby let's christian the carpet so some of you had it was it was you you did some nasty stuff it was nothing in the room but you and your person. <laughs> There's no furniture in there because you just put carpet. So you got that whole big ass flow and y'all went fucking wild. This man, what started it, Divine Feminine, now this is not for everybody, but it's for somebody. What started it? After, you know, maybe you guys had already been intimate earlier that day. And he was doing little quickies or whatever but somebody got some new carpet and you came out with your little slinky stuff on a little thing see what she got on look how they kissing her feet you came out with your your little things on with your titties out and shit. Titties out. Okay? And your your masculine has a fetish for your feet. Foot fetish. And when you walk them feet in that new carpet, made them want to fuck the shit out of you. So, um, some of you, this is, you get in a new house because you just got married. This is going on. You having your honeymoon at home or some shit. You know, some of you, not for everybody. Some of you, you redecorating your home or you got new carpet and you had sex in the room where you, you're redecorating. It, it, it changed some things. It, something in this new room or whatever you decorated brought some sort of love in it. Maybe you, maybe you, uh, That black magic thing, Billy. Protect your protect your relationship. Burn you. Some of you need this candle right here. If you want to purchase a wedding candle, this is the wedding candle. Um, can't see it, but it's a wedding candle. See, and um. Because it's some it's some some good sex going on here, happiness and prosperity, and maybe you told this you you told this person, but I'm telling you they gonna beat the pussy up, or they gonna whip that dick. I'm telling you. And and when you went in, let me finish telling you the story. You went in 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 your house. It's a living room. And maybe you're getting this home redecorated. Ooh, this better not be my neighbors. <laughs> oh my God. Because they redecorating their house and they done took everything out of their house. Everything. And his wife, she do be walking around with little dresses with no panties on and stuff. I know she don't be having no panties on. Ladies, you know when a female, we know. And she be walking around with her little, this is my neighbor. And, and there's a Scorpio out here and he's a Scorpio too. I don't know what, what, um, 
what what her sign is. But this is funny because she's she's um, when she's come home, they got new carpet and stuff in their house too. They they getting everything remodeled and all of this shit. Damn, this is my neighbor's energy. I can't tell her though. I can't tell him. But um, this could be some of y'all. This is somebody's energy, and they are successful. I say they're to me, they are the perfect family, and I always tell them that all the time. They're Asian. Cambodian, but they act black. Um, I just was over there yesterday. Um, they invited me over. They was barbecuing. No, for Labor Day. Labor Day. They barbecued, and their brother is a fucking chef. And um, he was out there. He was grilling some barbecue burgers. And once before, he made some Cambodian chicken gumbo for me. That shit was so fucking good. I had never tasted it. To the next day, I tried to go make me some, and I couldn't do it. And he works at one of the brothers. He works at uh, he's a, a cook at at Wingstop. I was like, man, you need to get your ass out of Wingstop and stop paying them and open your own shit. He cook everything, and it's good. But anyway, this could be my neighbor's energy. But somebody is is like she's so she's she's this this female is um. You intimidate other women, okay? And you you have went through a transformation to where you're you are creating your own abundance and your own happiness in your life. And your person, he's not mad at the fact that you're doing it. He's mad at the fact that you ain't doing it to him. You understand? He's he's upset. He love you. He love making love to you. Okay, in any shape, form, or fashion, he loves it. He jacks, he's jacking off to you, and he's saying, "I'm tired of jacking off." So when he get look, he's not jacking off no more. He ain't doing that. He wants some pussy. <laughs> Spirit, <laughs> he wants some pussy, divine feminine. Okay, Holy Spirit, all right. And this lady, when she walked in, I keep getting to it, but it's, it's showing me more and more. Um, this feminine energy, divine feminine, when you, your person has a foot fetish, that's what I'm going to ask my neighbor. I'm going I'm to, um, <laughs> when I see her, I'm going to say, come here. We talk about everything, but I, I don't never, you know, I never asked her nothing. But she know I read cards, and I'm going to say, this, 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 yo, this Jackie, because me and him, me and her husband has the same name. His name is Jackie, too. Okay, so I'm gonna say, dude, does Jackie have a foot fetish? Do Jackie love playing with your feet? He love kissing your feet. And if she say, how did you know that? I'm say, God damn it, it came into a reading. He about to tear your ass up. He about to tear you up. I'm telling her, I mean, and and they are such beautiful people. I get into it. I get mad at them sometimes about the parking, you know, but I got a driveway that, that parks for a car, so I really don't need to complain. I just want my the front of my house to when my family come over, I have to pull my cars out of my driveway to make room for my family to put park in my driveway and, and hurry up and get up early in the morning and saving parks because he owns apartments next door. It's just two units that they own along with their house. And each of their tenants own two cars, so they take up the parking a lot. So, I don't know who that's for, but somebody, somebody's masculine is about to tear their ass up. And if you don't want them to tear that ass up, Divine Feminine, you better not you better put some some, some socks on. <laughs> I heard you. You said you don't care. He don't care if you have socks on. He loves your feet. This masculine loves your feet. And when you walk into this carpet, whatever carpet he getting, I don't know if this going to be some, I keep seeing gray carpet. I don't know what color my neighbor's carpet is. Um, The house is gray, so I'm assuming... It's gray. I can't, I done been in there, but I wasn't paying attention like that. 
and now they redecorating so i don't know somebody is getting some plush carpet you know that 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 uh that stuff where you put your feet in and maybe it may not be a carpet it may just be a big rug uh, uh, a big old oriental not oriental but the big giant you know rug and you're going to walk your feet in that rug and your person, y'all going to end up getting busy. I don't know. New carpet, new rug, a lot of eroticism, eroticism, happiness, transformation. Maybe a person has went through a transformation and now he's helping you around the house. But one thing about it, again, I keep going back. Let me pull some more cards. They, um... They're intimidated by it, but they love it because when, when they're not around you, they sit and they look at, look at all of the shit you done did and be like, damn. Yep, they see that you're independent, you think for yourself, you act on your own, and you're not listening to others. Nine of, nine of uh, clubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they That turns them on. Mm-hmm. What else, Spirit? I like these cars, and I just, you know, put them together yesterday. Divine Feminine is saying, keep buying a dollar for 50 cents. Is this how you getting your money? Somebody is losing money, or... You're getting a small amount of money. Now, whatever it is that um, endeavor that you're doing, I'm going to keep trying to say that word until I get it correct in my vocabulary because I could not pronounce that word, endeavor. Okay? Once you... Um, it's like you're putting a lot of money. Um, buying a dollar for 50 cents, you're losing And it's like um, there's no relief of financial problems, but you have huge wealth here. So whatever this creative thing that you're doing, you you could be kind of penny pinching when it comes to it, but you're still doing it. It's still working, okay? And this person is is you know they know that maybe right now it may be something you just started. They know it's gonna is it may start with a small amount of money. This may be something you started off with a small amount of money. But you're gonna have a relief. Okay. But you're feeling like it that you're not having a relief, but you will. Because all of these other cards are surrounding this. You put a small amount of money in something and you're gonna make it big. Just like uh that the, the movie the Blair Witch Witch Project that came out years ago, uh, I think they uh, how much did they pay? Either five thousand to make that movie or fifty dollars. It was something with a five, and they made millions off of it. They just took a regular camera. They didn't have all the special effects or none of that shit. They just went in the woods and did some shit. So this is what the energy is. Okay, you took a little bit of, you taking a little bit of money and you started a creative endeavor and it's going to be successful. Maybe my candle's going to be successful. I claim it. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, maybe my candles will become successful for me. Okay. Okay, what else, Spirit? I went past 40 minutes, so I might as well keep going. They can't gossip about you no more. You you overcame these um, challenges and you made a leap. You took a leap of faith. Um, you didn't hesitate before making an important decision. And we, you saying we live our lives only once. Unfortunately, the, there is no rehearsal. So there's a, a brave decision. You made this brave decision to take this challenge and this leap of faith. But at the same time, your person is feeling kind of left out in the cold. You're cool with this person, but you stand, you're, you're kind of standoffish. 
and they, you know, um, you think before acting, it was a challenge for you, but you, you thought about it, you acted, and you took that leap of faith. <coughs> Tell me about the person that the Divine Feminine that's is uh, intimidated. Tell me about this intimidated person around Divine Feminine. Okay, Spirit, tell me about the, the person that's intimidated. Tell me about the in intimidated person around Divine Feminine. They spying on you or they was spying on you. Um, this person has somebody, you know, following you, bringing you news, but bringing them news back. This was an effort for them to keep you from going somewhere. They don't want you to leave. Some of you may have, have moved, um, or going somewhere and they, they got somebody following you. And maybe they're not following you no more, but they was, or somebody had a private and get investigator. If they don't got no money or you're not, it's like, if you have money, you're making money from your little endeavor. This person don't want you to end it. They feel like this relationship, because of your your uh, your thing you're doing, that the relationship is non-existence. It's lifeless. It is dead. This could be a Scorpio energy. Um, but they don't want it to end. They don't want it to be over. They don't want you to go nowhere. They're going to beat the pussy up. It's like they want to, they, they, they want to, want to beat the pussy to where you don't want to leave. Okay. They're going to beat it up to, you know, so if you get famous off of your thing, you won't leave them. <laughs> they really, 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 really love you, and they really, 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 really want to fuck you. They do. And they don't want you to go. And they really, they, <laughs> the wild feminine. They could be, they could be, uh, Helping you redecorate your home and shit. They working with you. But they intimidated at the same time. They mad. And they want to fuck. I keep seeing it. And you saying, well, if you want this pussy, come get it. You nine of cups in the ass. This person saying they tie the jacket off because you just too tired from whatever it is that you do it. Divine Feminine. Okay, Spirit, what is the advice? And the outcome in two cards. Reconciliation for better or worse, richer for poor. In 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 um what is it in, in richer for poor for better for worse and richness and something and sickness and health to death do you part? Your dis difficulties and misfortune should not ruin your love life. It can be repaired. Okay. It, it's, you're going to reconcile with this person because they're going to fuck the shit out of you. Okay. That's that's the advice. You can reconcile with this person. If they acting mad, hateful, and resentful towards you, overly competitive, um, if they're, you know, being avoided, acting like a narcissist, that's because you have put something in front of them. Keep doing what you're doing, but give your person some time. Now, I'm letting you know, they're going to beat your ass when you get in that bed with them. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 
Now, they gon' they gonna make love to you real hard. They're going to show you how much they miss you if they ain't never been um, hugging the type to rub and do all that, all of that. They're going to do all of that. I'm telling you, Divine Feminine, now if you if you don't want to be attached to this person, you better get you some protection, some evil eye. Not only, not only rubbers, get some evil eye or something to protect your energy. Okay. Because they, they don't want you to go. Or they could be returning. Somebody could be returning, coming back. They could have had one out of town and they coming back. And they coming back to fuck the shit out of you. I'm telling you. So you better uh get your candles and all of this stuff. But this person is, is they coming. And this is your husband, some of you. For, for, for better or worse. That means you're married for richer or poor, and you becoming rich, and he don't want to let that shit go. Hell no. He wants you back. So I'm going to stop right there. And if this resonated with you, then please hit that thumbs up button for me. All right? Please like, share, and subscribe. You don't need to throw him in a tent. I ain't, the tent ain't even out here. It'll be back today. I just want to get dressed, and, you know, this is my first reading for the day. Now it's, it's almost uh, 10 a.m. I got glitter all over my face. All right, Divine Feminine. Don't forget to hit the likes up button. Peace.